Okay, my name is Tillman Wade. Three, two, one. Music has become digitized uh, during the last one or two decades. Nobody buys CDs anymore, unless you're over 45. And because everything is now uh, digital and streamed, there's a lot of data that can be collected on your behavior. Where are you listening? Who's listening? What are you like? What do you like to listen to at what time of day? And it's of course a question, who owns all that data and who can exploit that data and for what purpose? Well, if we analyze music, music comes as a stream of numbers. With humans, we're not so certain. Different people behave differently. But you can identify trends and you can identify common patterns. There is a, obviously a commercial value in analyzing music. Companies like Spotify try to relate the human behavior to what they know about the music so that they can recommend music to you that you like and that you stay tuned. In this context, there are many new questions arising that we haven't really thought of, and I don't think we have good answers for them yet. Commercial companies don't always tell you what exactly they're doing, so we don't really know what happens with all this data and who has control over it, who can use it.